my project this summer was to inject double-stranded RNA into cricket embryos. And to do this, we had to find a way how to keep those embryos from moving. This is why we're using some of the these molds, these molds that we use uh, as wells in an agarose shell in order to put the egg in there and then we can inject it. Dennis asked the IT department to make this specific piece of equipment, which he used all summer to inject 600 cricket embryos with double-stranded RNAs. His research is part of Professor Hadley Horch's work on compensatory growth in cricket auditory systems. We did get some results. We were able to dissect and observe some uh, nervous system development. So this here is quartz crystal microbalance. I've just printed this out. But the idea is this is an open source version of a pretty nice piece of scientific equipment which is designed to measure extremely small masses. So you could actually measure whether or not a molecule has absorbed onto a surface or something, for instance. Printing this out costs us relatively nothing. This object will cost about 30 cents to print. It may take the time, but the cost of just the plastic is about 30 cents. Some of the simplest uses we've found for it is it makes really good test tube racks or vial holders or lens mounts. Very simple things that add up to being a lot of money. Each one of those racks would be $70 to buy. No expertise. Nope. Zero. We put it together, turned it on, and said, okay, what are we going to print? And we just started printing.